Hi, my name is Elizabeth Jean Brumfield. I am the Distance Services Librarian at Prairie View A&M University. And today I'm going to show you how to make two versions of facial masks that can be used for protection against viruses. The first one is a sewn mask on a, sew on a um, sewing machine. And the second one will be a hand sewed one. Okay, so you're going to start with your fabric and it's recommended 100% cotton. Uh, you can use any sort of design, be creative. And you're going to also need some elastic. Um, the elastic should be cut at 7 inches. The fabric is around 12 to 9 half, 10, depending on how far you want it to go around your face. If you don't have elastic, you can use these hair, um, hair bands. And elastic is kind of short on supply right now. Um, so what the first thing you're going to do after you have your fabric and you have your elastic, you're going to, on the uh, right side of the fabric, the fabric that is going to be shown, you're going to um, stitch at the top, very close to the end, the, um, a piece of elastic. You're going to do that on the middle as well. because you, you can iron this and so you know exactly where the middle is and then when you get to the, where you have the middle, you're going to sew the other side. I have, you're going to do that on both sides. So it should look like this. So you've sewn the right and left, top and middle. Once you do that, going to fold this and you can pin it or if you don't you don't have to pin it and just stitch this down Now for the top, a lot of the hospitals are using the filters that go uh, on the inside. So if you want to, uh, you can leave it kind of open, but you're going to, so you're going to do a, a stitch that doesn't go all the way to the middle. So I'm going to go here. We're going to do that the same on the other side. Okay, so now you have it sewn on the right and left side and the top. This, because you um, fold it, you don't have to sew this because it's not an open. It's not open. So now what you're going to do, you're going to turn this inside out and just put your finger in and pull the fabric out. You can actually use these to uh, make it easier to pull it out. And what you should have looks like a little bag. Now for the sewn by machine, we're going to do some pleats. For the ones that are hand sewed, you'll see that it's gathered. And I'll show you that in the middle, in, in a minute, how to do that. OK, so you have a uh, bag. I cut some threads off. OK. 
So now if the hospital wants to put a filter in, they have this little pouch and they can put that, the filter in here. If you don't want to, um, if you're not going to put a filter in, you can stitch it down. Okay, so now you're going to make pleats, and um, you can use pins. What I'm showing is the quickest, easiest way to do this. Uh, there are a lot of things you can find on um, YouTube, and everyone does it differently. If you're making a large number, you want to do the quickest possible. So this is a really quick way to do these. Just putting a pin to hold the pleat down on both sides. Okay, so now you can stitch this. Just cutting the threads off. We'll take the pins out. And you have a mask. And that's it.